Good morning YouTube, how are we doing? Currently sipping on my the blackest coffee ever. Um, I normally put almond milk in it, but we didn't have any, so just got to deal with the dark, bittersweet taste of this golden nectar. Well, it's not gold, but anyway, probably shouldn't be having uh, more caffeine this morning because last night I got no sleep. Um, took too much pre-workout last night, took it pretty late, I think it took about 7 o'clock and taking 360 milligrams of caffeine, or I think I took over a scoop, so like 400 milligrams of caffeine that late. Yeah, I was up until like 2 a.m. tossing and turning, and I got some emails that were quite exciting, which I'll be telling you about soon, um, right before bed, and I was just, I just couldn't sleep. My mind was all over the place. But um, I'm starving, we've got a busy day today, I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm gonna show you what I'm eating. Uh, we're actually going to the US in just over two and a half weeks with Alpha Lee. Gonna see uh, Christian, gonna meet up with everyone, uh, do some photo shoots and have a great time. So um, I'm actually doing a little bit of a cut again because um, after the holiday when I came back from food poisoning, uh, bumped my calories up to about 3,000. Now, again, gonna drop them down to about 2700 and I'll show you what I eat today. Um, see if this is like a full day of eating, but I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm actually going to get some content about 10. It's currently eight, so um, it's gonna be good going with me up with my mate and just get some filming done. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm starving. Let's whip up some breakfast. And I'm back with breakfast. Got two eggs, five egg whites, bowl of oats with peanut butter, honey and banana. I love it. Call it a bro meal, but oats and eggs, you can't go wrong. Like, honestly, it's one of my favorite meals. I've had it for years, and this just makes me feel good, and because we're gonna go filming in a bit, um, high energy, and the macros will be on the screen there. And yes, uh, I'm gonna eat this now, crack on with some emails, got a lot of work to do, um, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so I um, off to go get some filming done, but we need a snack. We and it's freezing out here, but another bright autumn day. Well done, England. It was raining all of yesterday, anyway. Um, we need to go get a snack because I feel like the filming might take a bit of time, and that um, it's a bit later than I wanted it to be. I wanted to be out there by 12 so that we can train. It's push day as well. I want to make sure I get quite a few calories in before we train because um, I had a uh, leg day yesterday and it was tough, literally. I didn't actually get out of the bar, so went in, did four sets of front squats, then like six sets of back squats, then did back lunges, front lunges, all with the bar and then finished on leg extension and hamstring curl. It was crazy, lots of, lots of energy expenditure, but if I uh, don't get enough food in between training. I think I said this in my last video. I just tend to feel flat, so let's go get a snack. It's snack acquired, I've got myself a protein bar. It's the grenade birthday cake one, and you know what? It's not too bad. It's not the best, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna snack on this, and I've got myself a rather anemic looking apple. I mean, I don't think, I mean, I love apples, but I don't think they're in season right now. But yeah, gonna have this. Nice little snack for the filming. Uh, get you some good workouts. I'll show you the gym. It's pretty cool that we're going in. It's like a bit of like, a, it's like a fight school. Uh, but it's got a cool little weight section. So get some workouts in then. And then we'll come home, get some food in. Um, Pre-workout meal. Hit the gym, big push day. Can't wait, one of my favorite sessions. Oh, it's a little cat. Oh, he's so cute. He had like a little folded ears. Um, Sorry, I get distracted so easily. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you in the gym. Yeah, there's a cool little gym. We just got some filming in, some chest and back and uh, shoulders and arm session coming from my Instagram later on this week. Really, really good. Got a decent pump while I was doing it, but awesome little gym. Not too far from where I live, just mainly for like MMA and things like that. I'm uh, gonna get some footage for Carl now and then I will go home get some more food in, we're gonna go train some push later, um, and I'll see you back at home. And we are home. I am making the chicken and rice, as usual, my favorite meal. Uh, gonna throw some frozen grilled vegetables on. That those, if you have them in your supermarket or store, get them, because they are so tasty. Uh, we're gonna have this, 
and then get ready for the gym. But what I'm thinking, might need an extra little snack because we did train quite a little bit when I was doing the exercise demonstrations. Uh, so we might need a little extra snack, but we'll see, we'll see what's in store. Um, but I'll cook this up and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, lunch is here. Chicken, rice, my favorite meal, Thai jasmine. Got some mixed frozen grilled vegetables under there. I'm gonna have a great time. Um, also, I have the lighter than light mayo, the sauces. You can't forget the sauces. This stuff, over 90% less calories than normal mayo. Why would you ever have the other stuff? And the red, Frank Red's hot. Red's red hot. It's the best hot sauce ever. It's not actually hot. It's just tangy, adds a bunch of flavor, and I recommend it for anyone dieting who wants a low calorie like sauce on their food. So I'm gonna eat this up now, quickly do some things around the house, and then get another snack and go train. Okay guys, so I ended up going with some toast with some jam on. I mean, I just like to make sure that I'm getting in enough calories before I train. Um, I feel like when I diet or I put myself in a calorie deficit, I'm very susceptible of feeling flat quite quickly just from how I train. Um, you know, it's lots of volume, lots of sets and reps, high intensity. So with all that energy expenditure and going in deficit, I always find sometimes that I get a bit flat. So I'm keeping my carbs nice and high and on the weekends, you know, I'll bump them up again. Um, you know, I fairly fast metabolism, I train hard, so this will be a good deficit for the week and then I'll bump it up maybe to about 500 carb one down either Saturday or Sunday and then bring it back down and that helps me stay full and I like to surround my workouts with quite a few carbs um, so this is going to be going in now um, it actually brings me on to the topic because me and Domi were talking about it um, I tend to stay quite lean year round I mean I only feel like I'm around four weeks out at any given time it may be pushed like six so I think I might enter a competition. Not sure which one yet. Um, I'm not sure what category. It's probably just gonna be men's physique because I know I can do pretty well in that category as I've done it before. But I think I'm gonna do like a two week prep or like maximum four weeks just to show that if you live a healthy and active lifestyle and that you don't go through this crazy bulking and cutting cycles, if you maintain a certain level of leanness, you can literally just diet. You won't have to ruin your life, you won't have to sacrifice too many things because two, three, maximum four weeks out, you can diet in, rein it in a little bit, tighten up and just walk into a show and that's what I wanna show you guys. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this and get to the gym. All right guys, so we are at the gym and when I say we, I mean me. Um, the tiredness hit me, all that filming this morning and then, um, just being at home and having lunch, I just got really tired. Uh, seeing as I didn't sleep that much yesterday, literally got no sleep whatsoever. Um, but we're at the gym now, and because the pre workout prevented me from sleeping, it's gonna give me energy again now. So I'm fighting fire with fire, having some more pre workout. I'm gonna go kill this massive push session. I've just planned it. I mean, normally. I do plan my workouts, um, like just before I train them, or just before I do it. But um, I do also take, you know, programs and guides. Speaking of which, mine are releasing next Thursday on the 17th. Let me just double check. That is the 17th. On the 17th of. October 2019, 5 p.m. G British Standard Time. I nearly got it right. Was it GMT? BMT? Anyway, everything is going to be covered in these plans from weight loss to muscle gain. Um, it comes with nutrition and workout manuals to ensure that you're training and eating right, calculating macros. It's going to be amazing and I can't wait to release it with you guys. Um, Please keep an eye out for it, but the link will be in this, the description now, um, and it will be live at that time. But anyway, I feel I feel like the pre-workout's kicking in. I can feel my energy levels increasing. So I'm gonna finish the last little bit and uh, see you in the gym.
push workout done um honestly i normally sweat a lot but this is ridiculous like i literally just touched the weight today and i just started dripping i mean is it possible are we gonna get some juice oh yes a little bit like that is disgusting i can't believe that this is ridiculous i have actually think i ruined this top um i just touched the dump the weights today and i just seem to start pouring it's like someone was like let a tap loose anyway i'm gonna go home and grab a protein shake let's do it all right guys so i'm home uh looking terrible because the workout absolutely killed me my eyes apparently are really red domi was like they look really bad but i'm okay she's over there say hello Okay, no. Um, so I came home, had a protein shake. I didn't film it because there was no space on the memory card. Had to make some space. So uh, one and a half scoops of whey isolate. And I'm making my post-workout meal because, you know, protein is just protein. Uh, cooking up some pasta. Going to put some chicken on there with some sauce. And I'll show you the end result. Oh, we bought this stuff the other day, which is pesto seasoning. So it's all the benefits of the flavor of pesto. <laughs> um, but not the fat, I don't think. It's only got one gram of fat. How amazing is that? And this, it's even got little bits of nuts in. See, that is TK Maxx for you, or TJ Maxx for you Americans. Anyway, I'm gonna make this and I'll show you the end result. All right, so the pre-dinner, got 80 grams of pasta, 150 grams of chicken, and some mayo and hot sauce again, because you know that combo is the one. Uh, macros would be there. Uh, this is a great meal, and we're gonna have another meal probably in about six now, probably about eight. 8.30, which would be protein, veg. I'll show you what that is. We're gonna crack on with some editing now, get those videos up on Instagram, and uh, yeah, have a great evening, aren't we? Yeah. Last meal. Oh! Making the last meal, uh, it's just a lot of protein and veg, really. I've got some leftover couscous that I'm gonna have, and we've got these uh, protein crisp breads. We're gonna have two of these each and some basa because protein. Um, and just gonna end the deck. I keep dropping things, this is terrible. Um, but yeah, I know this day has been a bit like the diet's been you know, a bit all over the place, but that's okay because I do flexible dieting. I know my targets, I know what I need to hit, and I hit them. Oh, macros will be there and we're going to enjoy this. Uh, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. So I'm back and this is the meal. Got lots of broccoli, the bassa, couscous and the grilled peppers that I dropped on the floor. Anyway, we're going to enjoy this, watch The Office and on this time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So we were supposed to be in bed Half an hour ago, but we stayed up <laughs> watching memes and eating a bowl of coca bowl because you know rules they're meant to be broken, and this happens probably every other day. <laughs> so you know you have a good day, you have a bad day. It's all, it's, it all plays out well, so it's fine. I'll, two weeks till America, so two weeks clean. This is my last treat.